Good evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks, the most flooded draft channel on the internet. My name is Sam, and I'm joined this week and every week by Adrian Walker. How we doing, Adrian? Hey, Adrian can't be here again. We got Soggy Jenkins. Uh, so much water, everything is flooded. It's me, Soggy Jenkins, back by popular demand. It's the demand. return of Soggy Jenkins. Yes, I'm back. Uh, if you uh, look around you, you can see that you yourself are completely covered in water right now. It's terrible. Everything is very wet. I'm Soggy Jenkins. Uh, and here I was expecting, like, um, you you make a joke about how you've drawn all the lands in your deck. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is real water. Only Soggy Jenkins does not make jokes. Uh, Soggy Jenkins will be right at home at the moment. Soggy uh... Jenkins is a serious man. And um, Adrian's back. And let's do a serious draft. Hey, look, a red card. Ah, okay. Interesting. Um, shall Interesting. we pick four red pips straight out of the gate no <laughs> no i don't think this card is very good uh i think it's a decision between naomi a fantasy character with a very normal name <laughs> yep or splinter okay i um i i'm a fan of the old uh the old naomes I am a fan of Naomi as well. Naomi's also more splashable. Splinter kind of only goes in blue black, but I've I've splashed Naomi in in green white and other green decks before. So um, I've seen um green white often goes Abzan, yeah. um because there's a lot of good black enchantments. Yeah, yeah. So this is not as like multicolored as it might seem. Hmm. Well, what do we? Well, okay, well, we just don't even think about it. We just take the cudgels, right? I think so, yeah. I think this is a pretty easy cudgels. Easy, um, yeah, yeah. Slam it, slam it, slam right, it. We love, yeah, no, we no. love this card. <laughs> Everyone yeah, loves no. this card. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we've got a decision between Patchwork Automaton, which is good, but might pull us in a different direction. Yeah, or not a heap it's... of artifacts in white. Yeah, or we take the Skyblast Samurai, which I think could be decent with Naomi. I yeah. think I'd take it. I'd take a lot of the good commons over this, but like if this was uh if this was Age of Enlightenment, Era of Enlightenment, I'd take that. Not uh, a friend of the moths? Not a friend of the moths. Ah, uh, uh, I'm a oh, well. Baby. Hey, I'm a fr I'm a friend of the Basaju though. I've no I've noticed, sorry. Adrian, your job for the draft is some of the kind viewers have reminded me that not everyone knows the cards as well as we do, and we should actually mouse over the ones we're talking about. Anyway, uh, your job is to remind me to do that. Okay. Um, I've just I've realized in this format, because like last format, I got really excited when I went to open pack one pick one. like, am I going to open a Dreadfeast Demon? Am I going to get Toxroll, Halana, and Elena? What could it be? This format, I just sit down and go, can I get the Seiju Reed to Skywood? Can I get Life of Tishiro Umezawa? <laughs> it's, it's like... <laughs> They've All just moved see. it down a, a rarity slot. You know, just can which uncommon am I going to get? That's it, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I do like the containment construct. There's a couple of good combos with it. Um, mm. The problem is a lot of them are blue. I, th I think the only one that we would get in colorless, aside from the channel cards, is um, is network terminal. Oh uh, yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. It it is an artifact for Naomi. Oh, true. Uh, that's true. I think I'm gonna grab safekeeping because I've I've liked safekeeping with the Sage Ridge Skyward. Just keep uh, keep th keep that tree safe. That's it. This thing will win the game if you can keep it alive. Um. So also currently the best green common in the set, which, which is, is surprising. Wild. Yeah. Very surprising. Oh, well, there's a Twisted Embrace. Yeah, I think I'm happy with a Twisted Embrace. I do like... I do like Tales of Master Sashiro. I do too. I, I really like that song. I think it's sweet. I uh, I had three of them in a, a draft the other day, and I played all three of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just pummeled my opponent. <laughs> they killed it, and I brought it back with Season of Renewal. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That was so good. So yeah, okay, moving to green, black, maybe splash white for Naomi. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then I hope to wheel this Guardians of Ouroboro because it is the only common in the set that I don't have four of. <laughs> oh, double Naomi? Double Naomi, or do we just take Intercessor's Arrest? It, yeah, I mean, it is, like, double well, Naomi is very tempting, though. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And, I mean, if we're splashing white, I don't want to splash for this. Yeah, it's true. That just, it's possible that we just groom white. This is pretty powerful. I'm, I'm kind of keen to try this. Double Naomi's? Just starting off with a seven drop, two five drops, and two four drops. Well, that's, that's this format. This is how this format works. You reckon? You, you draft the five drops, you play the five drops. And then you win, hopefully. Pretty happy with Uncharted Haven. Hey, we could play the bronze well, cudgels to turn on our Naomi. Yeah, true. And um, yeah, colorless goes in every deck. Hey, look, you get your you get your containment construct. Yeah, I guess I take it this time. It's an artifact for Naomi, and we would possibly if we're going to just go straight three colors, we could possibly play Network Terminal, and there was one a, a few packs ago, so. Um, and if we pick up two of these, if that other one comes around late, which I think is unlikely. But... Hell yeah. We contain all the constructs. Okay, Terrarium, just what we're after. That's that's an artifact. Cool. Well, uh, more cudgels. More cudgels, Sam? Want some cudgels? We could have all the cudgels. Um... This is okay, but I think I'm just going to take a papercraft decoy. Yeah, same. Yeah. I mean, hey, look at us picking up all these two drops. Wow, so aggressive. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's your... Oh, there Ooh. Seeing as we're so... We're firmly in white-black. Yeah. Do we... Like, I do want to pick up the network terminal because I think containment oh. construct is sick, but do we spec into Grease Fang? That's right. If we if we open a grease fang, we'll find one of these. Don't worry. Okay. Hell yeah. And that's high on the bucket list for this format. It is. All right. Well, we're doing pretty well on the artifact front, but we need need more enchantments now. Jeez. Yeah. True. Hey. Hey. hey you got it. You did it, Sam. Completed, oh, completed it. No, it doesn't do like a solitaire. All the cards pop out of the slots and bounce around the screen. That's yeah, how it, it should, should work. Do that. Right? You'd think Microsoft Arena would be better. Microsoft than Arena. Um, uh, well, there's an Intercessor's Arrest. Yeah. Fade into Antiquity. Not bad also. There's, I don't know about Seiju. Fall of Lord Conda. Uh, yeah, say, I like a, yeah? Yeah. I like Arrest more than Fall of Lord Conda. I take it over the Seiju. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean on my crutch here. Ah, oh, this is the play the music, the the seventeen lands music. I don't think seventeen, 17 lands, lands really, has music. They should really get some music. Yeah, uh, so so you can enjoy while you while you look up all the card stats. Yeah, arrest is fifty six dollars. He means dollars. Besaju is 58. Oh, Besaju wins. I can go with Besaju. Hey, and, you know, for the collection. Oh, oh. Mijiko's Reign of Truth. We like that. Nice. And another arrest. Holy crap. Yeah, I suppose the arrest is, has, does have the benefit of working really well with Naomi. So possibly should have gotten a nod in that regard. We'll be okay. Uh... Very also, happy truth. Um, virus beetle in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Holy crap. Wow! Whoa! Look at the card ne next to it. Jeez! What, what is, is the pick? I reckon Reign of Truth is better. You reckon? I guess we are in the artifact and enchantment deck. That's it. Yeah. Oh, um, Lion Sash though. Bitch goes Reign of Truth fifty nine nine. Lion Sash 58 5. Uh, yeah, 58 5. Ooh. These are some real thin numbers. These are some thick numbers. All so, right, sorry, yeah, ahead. some thick numbers. Well. Uh, okay. Happy could become a guy. friend of the moths. You, you just love befriending the moths. I just want to have the moths as my friends. Okay. Is that They're, too much moths. to ask? The moths have never had 
as good a friend as Adrian Walker. It's it's true. I'm a steadfast friend of the moths. Hey, look, Shigek. I'm happy with a Shigek. Hell yes. Still don't. I guess we're we're looking like green white. Splash Naomi. I don't know about this twisted embrace. Yeah, There's black hasn't seemed barons. super open. Yeah. There's also scaled barons. We might get this on the wheel. True. This is true. This is nice. Oh Ooh, Gloom Shrieker, Virus Beetle, Soul Transfer. Damn. Jeez. I kind of really want to take Gloom Shrieker. That's where I'm leaning as well. But also Virus Beetle, another artifact. But well, I guess we've got a lot of artifacts. We kind of need to bring up the enchantment co count. That's it, yeah. I think Soul Transfer is possibly better than Gloom Shrieker, although I'm not even sure about that. But given that it's possible we're not black, this is much easier to splash, so... Agreed. Wow, that's a, that's a hell of a pack. Right after we said black's not open. And then there's uh... this. Just gonna take a bearer of memory. I'm not a huge fan of this card, but I have been playing it more and more. Just three drop enchantment for all your enchantment synergy. Just, <laughs> uh, kind of does, See, well, does this is work. ammo for the future when uh, Sam is talking about three mana three twos. Just, just quiet. <laughs> don't, don't, don't overexert yourself. Whoops. Three mana three twos. So, yeah, we take... How are we doing for fixing? We've got the Terrarium, the Haven... The Terminal. And the Terminal. Okay, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. And, you know, we're halfway through pack two. There is there is an, an, another whole section of the draft to go. Yeah, I don't think we are already dead. I think we're... We, it might be a decoy, though. Yeah, I don't know if we'll play two of these, but we might. Is possibly. Well, uh, we might pick up a, a random matter. white one one. Getting all the red jewels coming around. So I think with this deck, there's going to be a really high barrier of entry for anything that is not an artifact or enchantment. Yeah, agreed. Nice. Oh, oh, just hey, loading up. You could get a fifth copy. All right, all all the when we were youngs. Okay, can we get? Uh, what are we looking for? Tatsunari. Well, Tatsunari is apparently is very good. Yeah. Have you played against this? No, I've never played against it. It's very frustrating. And target frog can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. Interesting. Uh, what else we got? Samurai, got another samurai, long reach. Long reach night. Got a companion in there. Yeah, I suspect companion would probably be the pick. I kind of want to pick Tatsunari because if we can lean oh, yeah, yeah. harder yeah, into easy. black. Easy Tatsunari, I think. We're, um, we, got, we got a bit of a deck going on. And, uh, well, that's a circuit, Amanda. Yeah. Or are you looking at take... that, uh, you looking at, you looking at that season of renewal? Oh, ooh. Okay, how are we doing for removal? I don't think we've got much, right? We've just got long reach, twisted embrace, Beseju. Oh, no, sorry. Actual Beseju? Actual Beseju. The one who endures. The one who endures. Um, Is yeah, we don't have a bunch. Ooh, I don't know. Rest. Oh god. I like I like them all. My gut feeling is arrest cuz you can maybe wheel season. I don't know if the jury is totally out yet on the goodness of it. Oh, hey. Hey, pick up the Skyblur samurai. Yeah, do we want do we want another one of these? Possibly, or do we want a golden tail disciple? Um, a lot of white cards are going around, so you could potentially see that again. Yeah, what have we got? Ten and eleven enchantments at the moment. Maybe it is this. And look, you know what he is. <laughs> You know what he is, Sam? 
He's friends with the yeah, moths. Yeah, he's friends with the moths. <laughs> Unlike you. All right. Unlike me. <laughs> oh, slam it. Oh. Slam it. Don't even think about it. There it is. Oh, another uh, twisted embrace, though. Nah, who cares? Uh, I checked on my, my personal 17 land stats the other day. This is by far my most picked card in the set. Oh, right. Nice. It's because I just I just pick it. It doesn't, doesn't matter what deck I'm playing. I just I always flash for it. <sighs> well, a little far away from double blue. Um, Harmo- uh, I have come way up on Harmonious Emergence. I think the card is sick. I think it is good. But we have talked before about the four drop problem that that green decks can have. But it looks fine here. This is true. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> We're on. Dear viewer, have a look down at the the length indicator of this video to find out how well we did. Or don't, um, and leave it as a surprise. Would we play two network terminals? Uh, well, we currently got 26 cards in the deck, so maybe not, but also maybe. I don't think we play Shrine Steward. No, I ha- I hate I hate Shrine Steward. I know you're not a fan of the Shrines too. We do have two targets. Three targets, actually. You can go get Harmonious Emergence. You know, oh, no, we didn't... Yeah. Let me, let me tell you, Shrine oh, Steward ooh. is not a friend of the moths. Got to be Kami, right? Oh, because we're in the deck for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And... Oh, third network terminal, Samuel. All right. Uh, wow, that is a late modern age. That is disrespectful. <laughs> Just take it out of respect for the card. That's it. Uh, uh, oh, nice. Oh, great pickup. Huge, yeah. Hey, okay. skyscraper. <laughs> it's a large boy. Dra- Someone took a counter off of my... Um, my what do you call it? What's the thing that yeah. enters with a counter? My ha- Jakai Preserver. Oh right, okay. Someone right. took a counter off of my Jakai Preserver. Oh, speaking of counters, I looped Kappa Tech Records the other day. Oh yuck! You had two, and you just bounced them off of each other. Uh huh. Disgusting. The first one destroyed Restoration of a Ganjo. The second one destroyed Versailles Reaches Skyward. The third one destroyed... Um, uh, it was another saga. Tales of Master Sashiro. That, that's... Although it's not a punt, that's what I would call a Neon Nasty. Playing into that. That is, that is very, very nuts. <laughs> it was gross. That was so good. Uh, All okay. right, what do, we, what do we got? What do we got? We've got 43 cards. So two cuts. Two cuts, that's right. We've got six artifacts, 13 enchantments. Do we want 18 lands? Or do we play 17 lands and two network terminals? Mm-mm, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually a good point. Because uh, we do have a top, a top end. Yeah. I suppose hmm. we have less of a mana curve and more of a mana. I don't know. Skateboard trick ramp. <laughs> um, okay, what is not making the cut? I don't think we can cut an artifact. Oops, sorry, did that wrong. This is true. Um... <sighs> can we cut one of these? We maybe could. We maybe could. Um, Kami of Terrible Secrets here, may be good, but it is neither artifact or enchantment. Yeah, and like everything else in the deck is one of those two, except safekeeping. Yes. And Naomi. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and Imperial Oath, but Imperial Oath just gets its own category. It does, yeah. Do we want Safekeeping. Safekeeping's good at keeping Naomi safe. Good at keeping... <laughs> that's that's true. 
good at keeping the Seiju safe, good at keeping Skyblast Samurai safe. Yeah, I think I'm reluctant to cut that. Um, Tatsunari is just real good. I yeah, think we can get rid really of Tatsunari. Good. So I'm going to trim one of these. Oh, I can just see us with a hand with like two of these and an Imperial Oath and like a bunch of artifacts. So I'm just going to try and reduce that potential awkwardness. Yeah. yeah maybe, I, maybe I do cut a network terminal. I really don't want to draw two of these. True. Yep. I really want to have one to pair with the containment construct, but... But two is going to be a little, little much. Yeah. So then we've got five artifacts total. Not bad. Yeah, I would love to get one more. Guess I could run another papercraft decoy. Um, this seems a little meh. I think I think I like what we've got. I think we should give it a go. And I know that we don't do it very much, but maybe we come back and do a little bit of a revision after the fact. Yeah. Alrighty, let's grab a screenshot of this. I'm looking forward to double Naomi. Not that we can have two Naomi's on the uh, battlefield at the same time. Hang on, I need to fix up this mana base. Uh, we want... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we want... Oh, Jesus. All right, I think we want, like, two planes. That's not many. Oh, I guess we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, we've got eight white pips in the deck. Yeah, like, these are colourless. We'll have a planes by the time we get to this. Um, this is also expensive. <laughs> these are relatively expensive. These, often, you don't want to play on turn two. So most of our white stuff comes down late. And this will give us two, three, three four, five sources. I okay. Okay. I'm a little sceptical, but I'm ready to be proven right or wrong. Whichever way you look at it. Would have loved a uh, would have loved a Tanukas. Oh, Tanukas is great. I think we did see one, but I think we picked good removal over it. I I think we took Mitchko's Reign of Truth over it. Oh uh, right, yeah, that's a that's a tough call. Well, actually, no, that's an easy call. Yeah, exactly. It's just yeah, it's not even hard. Okay, so here we are at you know video what video six of the. The format. Um, v versus Nit N Nitram Moyen 4630. And it seems like week on week, the format has changed. And yet here we are in another week with a completely changed format. Yeah, so I think the biggest thing I've learned from this format was about... Uh, Blue Black. So I wrote, I wrote my article on Blue Black for this week. Um, and sometimes those articles kind of just give me the data to back up what I already knew, but not this week. This week, oh, please don't counter this. Are we going to get crabbed? Yeah. We're getting crabbed? We got crabbed. Yeah. Damn it. Crabbed us. I hate it when I get crabs. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Um, oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, this can hit planes waters. We got we got to get a creature on the on the on the deck first. Yeah. And another swamp for that matter. Well. Um this plays a um you could harmonious emergence onto a tapped land. Yeah. Or you could get the long reach night going. No, I think I need a I need a creature so I can twist it and brace next turn. I guess I do this. And I hope to draw a swarm. Which, you know, can be done. Or well no okay, so we've this has happened a lot. We want to draw an untapped black source. That's what we would like, Deck. <laughs> Correct. Let's yeah. be very clear about this. Because sometimes you're like, oh, land, and then you get your your tap land, and you're like, yeah. no. 
No, thank yeah. you. So, opponent is drawing and discarding. Having a big old think about it. Or within those two cards they drew, they found lasagna. <laughs> Choose the discard mnemonic sphere. And then nothing. Silence. No, yeah, they did find lasagna in those cards. Okay. Whoa! The Guardians of Ouroboro. That's where all my Ouroboro Hey, look, there's now. your black sauce. There it is. Uh, okay, so now we... You could uh, you could try and give Tezzeret a big old whack. Yeah, we will whack Tezzeret. Wow. Let's it in. Okay, and then we... Network terminal. And... Check the value. We've got the combo. We got it. Yeah, we do. And um, Kami of Terrible Secrets is live at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And we're live to Twisted Embrace. So despite the fact we're getting a little buried by Tezzeret, well, we will be okay if we can get it off the board. Yeah. Double play, double island. Okay, so they run out of artifacts or they just don't need any more lands? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Oh, okay. Ooh, Jeebus. Jeez. Well, Twisted Embrace might be getting pointed at something else now. Yeah. Um, Do we take the nine? Oh, Go to five? Hell. I guess so. Doesn't sound magical. Well... I don't think that helps much. So I can now... Uh... So you twisted could... Twisted Embrace the Guardians? Yeah, you could Twisted Embrace the Guardians and then uh, it's big enough to block the crab. Yeah. Um, I guess, I guess that's the play. Yeah. Um, I guess I no. Yeah. So let's go. Twisted embrace my forest. Blow up Ouroboro. Sorry, sorry, Ouroboro. Sorry, Ouroboro. <laughs> we had to do desert, it. I don't think I can. Well, um, no, no touchy. Don't, no not, touchy. Don't do it. We're just over here. We got a tree. We've, <laughs> we've hung some stuff on it. It's a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a Christmas tree, but it's it a, a bit aggressive of a Christmas tree. I mean, have you ever seen a Christmas tree that's not aggressive? I mean, this is this is a good point. Um, but I've never seen a Christmas tree actively murder people. Oh, you should come around to my place. Oh, Christmas no. <laughs> <laughs> um, discards an artifact. Okay. No, no, no touchy. just please don't. No touchy allowed. Rip. Hang on, which one? Okay. Oh, the, oh, okay. Clever. Ah, we're just dead here. Well, we got a one. We got a one. Never say never. Watch, we'll, we'll forget that we put Adios in our deck. We'll rip Adios. Uh, very good. Actually, no, I'm going to kill Tezzeret. <laughs> yes. It's about sending a message.
Goodbye. In we go. Tesseract. Yeah, we did it. Got him. Double planeswalker off the 20, board. Only 20 drew, life to one. It only drew eight cards? Ten cards? A million. It drew a lot of cards. Right, okay, sometimes your opponent goes Tesseret into Invoke Justice. Yes. What kind of nonsense is that? Double blue into quad white. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Neon Dynasty. Where everything is possible. Well, didn't they? Well, absolute chicanery. All right. Down one. Down one. We can only go up from here. Seven one. Here we come. We've done it before. We'll do it again. An wow. Irish prophet. <laughs> the Irish prophet. All right, Irish prophet. Oh, is that why Facebook is um is located in in Ireland? Because of all of the Irish prophets? Could well be, yeah. That makes so much sense. Well, there's some lands. We've got some lands. Lands have been acquired. We're we can get our get... planes off of the terrarium. We're about to get a couple more as well. Yeah. Opponent's having a think. Possibly doesn't have a second color. Lethal exploit. Okay. Murders it. Ooh, companion. Okay. Well, we're still curving out on him. Sure are. I would like a basic planes. And we have artifacts plus enchantments. Another swamp. Now Terminal. Terminal. Into Disruptor. Disruptor. Taps the Terrarium. Ah, oh, got us. Ooh. Companion. Man, the companion mechanic is so busted. Yeah. <laughs> Had to and, be banned in modern recently. Yeah, I was going to say, speaking of, just the other day, banned in modern. Oh, that card. Haven't seen that card for a while. It's a bit of a scary one. Uh, that cannot deal with it. I could take out the network terminal. Oh, no, then they go get an island. What's the point? Uh. Um, <laughs> cool. I guess we get Besage going. Yeah, give him a, give him a good Besaging. Hit him with a stick. I'm going to find this forest and this forest. Your turn. What is what is our good? Oh, oh. bus in, bus in the bank. Gonna get another one. Jeez. Uh, that's a good. That's good, huh? That's pretty good. Hey, we got away from Crimson Vow to avoid all of this nonsense. Yeah, we're like, look at this Neon Dynasty with no bombs in it. Um, well, hey, you could arrest one of the bank busters. Yeah, I probably do. Or I get the long reach going. Probably get long reach going. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Yeah, sack specialist. Okay, hey, that card's got it. That, that card's gonna be good, then, huh? We got him. Will be another artifact. I suppose I can besage one of them as well. Oh, true, true, true. Oh, also, we, they got white off of that dual land. Oh yeah. Okay. Opponent's checking it out. Busting, busting that bank wide open. Rain it through. Okay. Pretty good. Gonna take a take a beefy hit. Ow. And then they're gonna have to discard that last card. I guess they can activate the other bank buster. Hey, we like can do, do we can do that too. So we can play this game as well. Land. Okay. Land. Um, should we arrest the specialist this turn, such that we don't just die? I mean, I've got a searchlight companion I can chump with. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, point the point the Minchiko's buff at the token. 
Hit him for one, two, three, or, four, five, six, seven. Or do I? Or do I just? Well, I guess there's kind of an argument for arresting this, so they don't have any blockers anymore. Hmm. Um, also ups, I guess it does up the enchantment count for Michika's Reign of Truth the following turn. Yeah, which could be pretty huge once we've got Branch of Perseju going. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... Alright, yeah, let's arrest this. Unfortunately, its ability is a triggered ability. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't stop that happening. Watch them watch them rip a a four mana no, a five mana artifact creature which with the, with which their remaining two mana they will copy. That would suck, and they do get two draws, three even. We do get the uh the old besage though. Which one do I destroy? Probably the token, because I don't, I don't have any bounce. So that stops them, like, re re reanimating it or something. True. So, and yeah, also, I guess, good. the one that will have the least amount of counters left on it. Yeah. Well, they're the same now. So I guess I blow up this. Take, let's take bets. Plains, plains or island? Island. Okay. Upkeep. I guess we're seeing what the white splash is for. Upkeep, opponent. Upkeep. Flash. Flash creature. To receive Michiko's reign of truth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or crew this to receive it. They cannot crew it. Draws. Yeah, as in if I had a flash creature, they could. Oh, they could yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's, I guess that's what I meant in a way that I did not at all communicate. So, fun fact about this, it has to target. And so I once had an opponent have no creatures, so they had to point at the white <gasps> creature. Which is fine, it doesn't really matter, right? If you've got no creatures pumping up theirs, it doesn't matter. Then they played a creature, and then I... Um, Masters rebuked their creature now that mine was big enough to deal with it. <laughs> sad opponent killed our big tree friend that is very sad okay so let's go papercraft decoy oh wait we're about to get a big hit in yeah and then michiko's reign of truth on the flyer play a land get in with these two and ideally, oh, yeah. uh, a pilot hops out of the thing when it when it ends, or does a treasure pop out? Pilot and treasure. Uh, that's okay. I think that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Did this go to six just then? One, two, three, four, five. Should have. Oh no, hang on. Six. Ah, uh, yes. So, this will go to seven. And then I can make it eight. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, you can chump and block off of the decoy. I don't think they're going to be attacking here. Uh, I guess they, yeah, their only choice is the 3-4, but then they probably do because they just get the token and you block with the 0-4. In fact, are they... If they don't add anything to the board, I think they might be dead, right? Because I pump this up to 8. That's pretty good. And then...
give it a counter. No, I can put them to one. Oh, by swinging with the with the with the crew. Yeah, because then they crew this lock decoy lock one one take nine. Yeah, I think um, I think just hit them down to two and then play a samurai is probably pretty good, right? Yeah. Because uh, they got to get their skates on in terms of in terms of gaining life or removing our big flyer. That's funny that the one life from that gain land saved them there. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, are we getting... Don't crab us. If they counter it, I'm going to say a naughty word. Okay. I didn't have to ruin my PG. <laughs> Sam's squeaky clean PG uh, image. Family friendly Sam, they call him. FFS. You don't want to know what the other FFS is. <laughs> good old FFS. Family friendly Sam. It doesn't stand for anything else, which is good. Oh, I remember... I remember when I was a kid, there was a there was a comedy sketch um, about uh, this author by the name of Roald Dahl that uh, was pitching a new book to his publisher, a new children's book, and he said it's called the BFG. And the publisher said, "Wow, the the BFG. What's what's it stand for?" He said, "It's the big fucking giant." <laughs> <laughs> the publisher. Excuse me, it's the big fucking giant. <laughs> and Pablo just said, You're, "Well, why, why couldn't it be? Maybe, maybe it's the big friendly giant." <laughs> and the other says, "But he's not. He's the big fucking giant." <laughs> oh, gets the two-two. Cruise it. Cruising for a bruising. Attacking. We do, we do still have lethal. Do still I got it. I think I just take this. Just, well, would you just absorb it with the O4? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only got one card in hand. Yeah, sure. Pop. Do you have more removal? Or life gain? Oh, that oh, life game! A single point. Again, keeps them alive. So now they've got two blockers. Oh no, they're dead. They're dead. Yeah, get out of here. Woo! All right. That we was, to... was tight. This is that's the sort of thing that I'm coming to experience from Neon Dynasty games. Is both players do really powerful things. Right? They went off with this, cloning this, made a giant thing oh we reign of truth them as well. There's just all sorts of powerful things going on. You've like you've really gotta be really quite powerful in this format, I think, to compete. Yeah. Yeah, and even still we kinda we kinda did that one by the skin of our teeth. Like that was not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And I'm finding that like I've I've been drafting some really powerful decks this week that I've felt like we're on a level above what I was doing before. But they've still, like, I've still had to fight for my wins. Yeah, I Rag, believe it. Rag is a can. Ah, well, it's good that they cleared that up for us, because I wasn't sure. I was wondering myself, yeah. Uh, this hand looks good. Turn four card off of uh, Kami of the Terrible Secrets. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Can they print the original Ravnica Bounce Lands back into standard so that I can play my Besaju early in the game <laughs> and then pick it up later? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be lovely. Okay. In Love a forest the, off the top. The decoy. Ribbit. R ribbit. Um, you're late. 
Okay, so now we go in with decoy. Rib ribbit. Have to play Visage and play there. They are getting priority. Oh, oh we're tenuks. getting Tanooked. Okay. That is okay. Okay, calm your terrible secrets. Let's go. We're about to about to get our while you. We are live. Oh, okay, that's, that's pretty good. It's a large boy. I guess we might have liked to have besaged that. Yeah. Besage versus besage. Who will win? Uh, okay, so let's go Kami. Hey. Ooh. Speaking of besage versus besage. Two can play at that game. I don't they can. Companion. Very good. Everyone's favorite doggo. Companion mechanic. Still busted. Still busted. There's two in this set. They said they would never do it again, but here here we are. Um, okay, I think we just play the Seiju. Yeah, and then play one of the forests, or just play the hollow. Just play Tapland, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, there's no All point right. to play in the forest. Get some Settle forests. In for a, settle in for a grind. This is about to be a... A, a big sort of, like, ent slapping contest. <laughs> yeah. Just two big pieces of wood just slapping up against each other. Who will win? <laughs> branch or branch? They, they do have a bit of a head start. Another more companion. Com more companions. Okay. Finds a second planes. Go on, third companion. Chain them all together. Decides to emerge. Uh, we got uh, some decent double blocks, don't we? Yeah. Um. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Fine. Ooh. That's also fine. Okay, so now we can go... Um... Do we emerge? I don't think we do emerge. Yeah, so I'm, I'm tossing out between Skyblast and Emerge. Skyblast will be cheaper next turn if we emerge this turn. Yeah, I'm just also thinking of the chump block the 7-7, seven, seven, draw a card off of Decoy. Oh, yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, I'm also thinking if we play Skyblast Samurai and they attack with Branch, we just take it. And then next turn we can Reign of Truth on the Oh, I'll give him a big slap. Yeah. Oh, I actually don't mind that. Although I kind of want something to block this. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. Oh, and the safekeeping is up? Classic. Yeah. That's it. I think we want to try and keep this up for the rest of the game. Got a fight? Fight spell? Oh. Well, oh my god. I guess one of them gets to survive. Yeah. Okay. Man, that would have been brutal. Uh, it still is. It was still a three for one. Nothing! Okay. Alright. Now we have Besage. And we get a little... We're going to throw a little tricky snake on the battlefield. Yeah. And we can still cast Samurai. Uh, not if I play... Yeah, even if I play this, right? 
One, yeah. two, three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like we kind of got away from with something just then because uh, spinning wheel kick that would have put us in the dirt. Yeah, X is X is three spinning wheel kick. That's a hell of a combo that I've seen as well. Like branch really helps you just hit all your land drops, and so it's not hard to get up to eight to then just wipe your opponent's board. I think oh, we've done yeah. it in, in previous videos. Touch. Oh dear. Touch the spirit realm. Can't attack though. Hey, okay. uh, what I would give for a. The Beseju. A bounce line. We have any ways? I don't think we have any ways to get rid of that, do we? Um. Um. Whoa. Well, block that Beseju. That's got to mean they've got season, right? Ah, oh, yeah. Almost certainly. Well. Time to put the hit on him. Ah, oh, I don't have another artifact. Okay. Oh well, I mean, that's one one ten clock. All right, can you? Can you? Can you remove it? Can you deal with the the flyer? Now that you attack with your big reach creature, season. Season, I don't. Think. Season does not quite get you there. Well, you can block a tree. And we take two times tree? Is two, six. Time, two times tree is six. <laughs> That's the best joke ever. Yes! Wow! <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> we had no business. We winning. absolutely no business. We were losing at every point of that game. And then we were just like, oh, let's play a flyer. Oh, let's give it plus seven, plus seven or something ridiculous. <laughs> oh, if they had just not traded off their 8-8 eight, eight reach for our 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I oh, guess wow. they, they were like, oh, let's rip the band-aid off. But I mean... Yeah, that's it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're two, 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 one. Two, one, yeah. Oh, running it up, Sam. I felt like we were one, two, but it seems we are, we are two, two. Uh, this is a little suspect. A little, little sus. Uh, this, this one goes out to all the, uh, the nine-year-old, uh, Among Us fans out there. Oh. It's a, it's it's a, it's oh, an, yeah. it's oh, yeah. an internet I get that. Yeah, you you get it. I get you get reference. it. You get it. I understood that reference. He got it. Um, Desot. Have we played Desot before? That seemed a little familiar. Yeah. Well, you know what? They haven't played before this game because they're currently oh, they currently getting that lasagna, lasagna out of the yeah. yeah. They are Desot's playing this game. They are just <laughs> well. If you if you turn the Z sideways, do not. Yeah, creative language. That's and I that's the high quality jokes you get with the draft punks. I think if we can just rip forests for the next three turns, we're solid. Yeah, we're have, we're playing some good magic. Dockside check. Cooking. Hey, hey, hey! Happy days. Happy days. 2-1 versus a 1-2. Who will win? Now we go Tatsunari, Longreach or Preserver, Naomi. Winning. Winning. Um, but we've got to keep drawing those forests. Got to keep those forest vibes coming. Maybe our opponent had some ramen in the oven. Ah, and then that was manifested by the card that they drew and played. No fear, or is this suit up? Suit up costs three. Oh, okay. Could be returned to action. It's also our only artifact, and we're taking one. It is, but I'm more worried about a ninja. Like, I'm worried about a moon circuit hacker. Oh, right. I think I'm going to block. This is only valuable to us just because of its type line. This is true. Hardcast moon circuit hacker? No. 
Uh, Brennan's sad now. Tatsunari. Tatsunari. He's a he's a he's a he's friend of the frogs, or just the yeah. one frog. Yeah, the sky blessed samurai is friend with the moths. This guy friends with the frog. Hey, okay. can they stop killing our Tatsunari? <sighs> um, why did it say you could play Jakai Preserver just then? Oh, it channels. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Mending the Good circuits. Man. We need a land, please. Uh, untapped source. Untapped land. Untapped land. Untapped land. Listen to us carefully, deck. Untapped land. Well, Locks, at least. Three, three drops is three drops. It's Sam's favorite variety of three drop. It's a three mana three two. Do you have a way to get it out of the way? Uh, oh, I guess Ninja that, yeah, they're keen to just ninjutsu, right? Yeah, yeah, man, ninja seeing this thing is so savage. I, I, whoa, oh, right. and the land, okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to preserve. Just want to really make sure we don't get ninjutsed. Make it a three mana. I think I'll put the counter on the bearer. Make it a three mana four three. Now that's a card. We can deal with the three mana four threes. Okay. Your turn. Cyber trespasses. Nothing. Nothing. Got a bunch of double blue in hand. Wonder if they've got Behold the Unspeakable. That would represent. Oh! Invoke Despair. Oh my god, Adrian! <laughs> And then they're gonna drop in a moon circuit hacker. How how did we lose both of them? It's it hits a creature and enchantment. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Alright. Well, that's an artifact. It is. Um I'm just going to get the long reach going. Yeah. We've been invoked twice this this video. Yeah, we have. Yeah. That's about the best I've ever seen that card as well. Five mana, kill your two creatures. They lose two life, you draw a card. That's pretty strong. I've normally just got, like, random tokens or a saga sitting around that I can sack. That just took out our three drop and our four drop. Crab. Past the mirror shell crab. Okay. Pitching lands. Alright, so I go. Terrarium? For black? Yeah. Go get. A swamp. And begin the decoying. Oh yeah, gotta represent that time you're safekeeping. Um, and then Naomi's coming down. Yeah. But if yeah. we draw a land, we're probably o thing. Yeah. Just the five seven. Well. Off to the wonderful land of nine life we go. Okay. Well. There's a land. Um. Yeah, so I guess I just oath here. Yeah, I mean, if we get crabbed again, we cry and cry and cry. And we might oh, get yeah, a they're... repeat appearance of Soggy Jenkins. Um, <laughs> yeah. But. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be Oath, right? Oath is just going to set us up. Yeah. yeah. No crabs. Thank Ooh. you. Ooh, Ooh, we like those. Is that wood three? Uh, so I need. Oh, I need seven mana to embrace it. Um, 
You could just put a bunch of the boys in front of it. Yeah. Because you can only kill two of them. Well, I have to put all of the boys oh, in paper yeah, craft, yeah, and yeah, they'll yeah, kill yeah, yeah. two tokens plus paper craft, which is probably fine. Yeah, let's just do this. How much will this cost at the moment? Almost full money. Okay. It also falls apart if they've got any instant speed interaction. Yeah, but they don't. We're, we're pretty confident of the, the fact that they don't. We talking yeah. about that? Maybe. Ah. Uh, I guess we go to four. Yeah. Or do we just pop a pop a samurai in front of it? Nah, I think we'll go to four. Don't play anything else. Oh. A little bit of a problem. Well, Twisted Embrace does take care of it. Yeah, I think I have to do that. Hey, now we can block the crab. Yeah. Yeah, we've now got seven power and toughness here. No Tamiyo safekeeping for you. Could still have crab though. No, they would have counted the twisted embrace. Oh. Oh, now we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, I guess I make him do it. Whatever. Second one. Yeah, I know. We've been invoked. Yeah. Forget to pump. Forget to pump. No, they saw the line, Sam. Are they going to pump again for the BM? No. Okay. My goodness. We're getting... We're getting slapped around a little bit. Just a little bit. What's the yeah, we, uh, we, we, official numbers? We're talking two, what's that, 2-2? Two, 2-2. Two? Two, two. In the bear bracket, we gotta, We can only win. We can only Run do up, winning. Run up 7-2. We have done this before. We have done it before. And we'll do it again. Nuclear fish. Okie dokie. Probably not what a good, good fish to eat, but... Um, yeah, this looks good. I tried to cast it. <laughs> just, just see if the game could like let you just cheat it in. Just be like, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah, you, 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 you fiddled the cards around quickly enough. I'll let you put it into play. Can we get a forest off the top. Oh, oh, that's something. No, did you order a Naomi off the top? I'm gonna just deal with this now. Now, now, Naomi. Naomi. Even though I would rather it not be on the board to be a lord, but true. Well, another one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, we'll just no. We'll hit him for two every Probably turn of the just, game. Probably just let on two rares. What the <laughs> Fourth, third rare. Let's go. Good enough. Sure. Now we'll do it. Nice. It's the cruel reality of the, the world we live in. Hey, we land into Naomi next turn, though. Let's go. Uh, yes. Yeah, true. This can't hit artifacts, can it? No. Uh, even if we don't get the land for Naomi, we do have Kami of Terrible Secrets. Oh, yeah, we do too. Yeah, that's a good point. Which was kind of the thinking by arresting the Weaver. Like, we'd at least just deal with that. Some of that's done right. Okay. Okay. Big. 
bank the crew buster. Bank the crew buster. Look at us getting Six. busted up. All right. There's the land. Okay, that's Naomi money. But do I need to just twist it and brace? Yeah, do we need to get rid of that samurai? Um... Nah. <laughs> Naomi. I want, I want to do Naomi things. Hey, you uh, could attack. I think I will, actually. Because I need that artifact to hang around. That you do. So hopefully they just attack with Sunblade, attack with a bunch of stuff and just leave this back to block and then we blow it up with Twisted Embrace. Okay, seven. Let's make it five. Yeah. Yeah. Weird that they attack with the specialist there, but I guess they got tricky, tricky stuff to trick us with. Oh yeah, I didn't even consider blocking with Naomi. I guess I could have done that. Ooh. Ooh. Draw? Drawing. That's okay. weird. Ooh, That's I like weird. That. That's weird. I like I like that a lot. Was it just like the the bad bluff? Because now they can't crew the vehicle in response to twisted embrace. Oh yeah, true. Um, no, no play creature, please. So or play a creature shot. with stats less than, than, okay. Yeah, don't care about that. Okay. Oh, that is now also I'm... Imperial Oath money. Yeah, I think we do this, though. Just to get out. Now, yeah, I guess this could be, um... The Blink... Wanderer's Strike. Blinky Bill. No, Wanderer's Strike is what I'm thinking. Oh, right. Which this gets us out of the way of. Ah, oh, tricky. Well, it wasn't Blinky Bill, and we're getting in for seven this time. Good. Oh yeah, do we put him on a two-turn clock? No, it's not a two-turn clock. Okay. Oh yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the life gain off of Azusa. That means that we're about to play the best common in the game. Yeah. And it is. This is the number one common in the set. Hell yeah. Right right now it's overtaken... Uh... Oh, tails oh, on a thing that does nothing? Oh dear. The naked tails. Oh, oh they, they oath dead? into oath? I think they're dead, right? I just put two counters on something. This is nine? No, that's eleven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fine, I'll play oath. Ah, <laughs> oh, fine. We'll get another samurai, and then we'll make three more. Hey, as we said, we got to run it up. We got to make sure our opponent draws no creatures for their vehicles, and then we dump That's approximately a billion samurai onto the battlefield. Upkeep. Draw. The tails. It's a big, big weaver. Oh, oh they can put it on the vehicle. Cool. Better believe <laughs> it. Oh, a target oh, right, okay. creature or vehicle. Nice. Cute. Are they thinking of their options? Ah. Okay, flips it. Okay. Counters. Then they somehow give this plus one on flying. They put a cartouche of knowledge on it. Oh, cartouche of knowledge. We are... Uh, Adrian and I did a... um. No, no, no. Oh, draft. do you know how we lose here? They play a land and they become friends with the moths. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. True. Okay. Whew. <laughs> just put four in front or just chump it oh yeah I you chump it absolutely chump it there's no trample trick in blue white I do not think so 
cycle Simeon Spirit Guide and then play the ball. Oh. <laughs> I, think, I think this is totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Adrian and I did a cube draft on the weekend with our mates, Pauper Cube, Foil Pauper Cube. Um, which is a really sweet cube. I, it's I like mad. It it's but real good fun. Really, really well designed. Um, and yeah, I did. I did such things as um, play Ninja of the Deep Hours, which is from original Kamigawa. It's a four mana two two with Ninjutsu one and a blue. When it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Uh, combine that with Cartouche of Knowledge from Amonkhet, which is a, a one and a blue or nothing has life link, right? Yeah. Uh, one and a blue aura when it enters, draw a card. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one and flying. Nice. Uh, yep, yep. That was, uh, that was very cool. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it was super sweet. Um... A, yeah, really really powerful what, what did you draft you had a sacrifice deck, yeah, yeah i had I, I had basically mono black sack so all the all the free sack outlets like um uh nantuko husk um uh what's the what's the one mana one that can't block? yeah carrion feeder and a whole bunch of the really sort of efficient creatures or creatures that come with an additional creature mm. So, um, I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but War of the Spark, the one that the two mana one. Lazatep Reaver. Yeah, Lazatep Reaver. Whole bunch of that kind of stuff. Um, and then a bunch of the good exploit cards that draw cards when they exploit. So, just. Uh, was it good? Was it powerful? Uh, yeah, it, it, when it did its thing, it was good. There was a lot of draws where I didn't draw the fodder and the payoffs, and that was important. Yeah, okay. But if uh but a bunch of the games I did get the fodder and the payoffs and I just uh boarded I bought my ticket, I boarded my one way train to Value Town, and I never looked back. Yeah, you'd think um you'd think Pauper Cube means like low power, right? You think all commons, you think low power, but if you know anything about constructed pauper oh yeah you know that's oh yeah that's not true i uh so i played i played modern against a friend's pauper deck once like fully powered modern um against a friend's pauper deck once and just got demolished every game pauper <laughs> is closer to legacy than it is to anything else and so pauper cube is also really powerful. There have been some very powerful commons over the years. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. They hit a Wanderer's Strike off their, uh... off their Synthesizer. Synthesizer. Ding. Okay. No removal for the Frogman. The Frogman is very important. The Frogman stays alive. I suppose I could have waited a turn. Maybe I should have, actually. I didn't think about that. I was too busy telling Corpor Cube stories. Oh, well, this isn't okay. removal. That's not removal. Unless they go, like... Oh, yeah, another they white go, like, card. Oh, no. Mountain Voltage Surge, in which case they'd need to sack their Eater of Virtue. Thinking. Nothing. All right, we can, blocking. we can take three. No blocks. No, no loot as well. Interesting. Oh, did they sack it? No way. Oh, okay. Um, so let's go forest and bearer. Ooh, ooh, Jukai. Okay. Oh, no, no we want to we want to keep that. Oh, frog. We get a frog. Frog. And I could just block with this all day. Cuz it just comes back. I just keep making more. Yeah. Etchings. What do you reckon? Opponent. 2-2 two, two haste that exiles stuff. 4-2 vigilance that won't give this thing vigilance. Asari captain. Okay. Okay. 
Let there be yeet. The big, the big swing. Like an 8-2 or something. And we just block it with the frog that we get new yeah. frog of. Yeah. Frog. And I mean, they're, they're, they're overthinking. <laughs> ah, they threw away their frog token. <laughs> What's wrong with them? And then we go... Not so fast. Uh, cool. So I guess we go... Make a new frog, put a counter on... You can put a counter on the bearer and attack. Um... I guess they could double block here, which wouldn't be great. No, I'm just gonna pass. Cool. How good is frog? This game, I can keep trading off frog. <laughs> this card's so good. <laughs> Have you played against um, uh, what's it called? Sir Kenzen Smelter plus um, Oni Cult Anvil. Uh, yes, I think we've done it on. Have we done it on video? Oh, I think we have actually. Yeah. So it's basically, just every turn, nuts. you sacrifice an artifact, make a three-one, and then because you sacked an artifact, the anvil gives you a one-one that you then sacrifice next turn. Nope. Lol. Nope. Lol. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, you can't, scoop. Scoop. You can't kill the frog man. Scoop. That feels demoral demoralizing enough for Scoopsville. Oh, that's rough. And we've got frog. And we're going to just keep frogging him. Frog. Okie dokie. So, I guess now I go... Attack with frog. Make new frog. No, I don't make new frog if I... I, I only make frog if I don't have a, a frog. Otherwise, I drain them for one. I was going to say, you could swing with the frog... And depending yeah. on if they block or not, you could play Papercraft Decoy or just pass the turn. I was thinking Papercraft Decoy, Mitch goes Rain of Truth. Okay, okay, and just give him a big hit with whatever. Yeah. Probably Jukai Preserver? Yeah. Drain you. Pump this. Up to 8-8. Eight, eight. Does it need to be a 9-9? Nine, nine? I don't. I think they just chump block with the single one of Akiron, and I don't think they're looking to trade off their board. Yeah. I mean, there is an argument for nine nine because then if they block with all three of these, I can kill all three. But I don't really care if I don't kill this one. I think I'd be pretty happy with that double block anyway. Ooh, they could put the Era Virtue on here and turn it into a haste. A hasty bone splitter. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> uh, tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to get this out of, um, out of Kami's flare range. Oh. Very smart. Cut to opponent interior. Just through Kami's flare. Just through <laughs> Kami's flare. <laughs> Currently in the process of destroying their keyboard. Subdua. Ah, oh, okay. they can tap down frog. Well, I guess we'll just have to block with any, uh, any number of our other creatures. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to take this one. You're a cop seven? Yep. Why don't we just block with the four three? I guess that is a trade. Because four three can give this trample next turn. And this is true, but I mean, I don't know about you, but my gut feeling for the game plan is we just trade off the board until we're the one with stuff and they don't. Mm, that's really annoying. Um, the problem is like we're trading a one, a two mana one three for our four three. Well, it's a seven. Th it's a seven three. I'm just going to let this one. Okay. We've got 16 points of life to play with. Well, now we have nine. <laughs> put it okay. on Put it on the frog and swing with the frog. Um... I can't... 
can't play the other Reign of Truth and Trample. Or you could put it on the decoy. And then swing with a gonna... decoy. Are gonna do this. Oh, you're going to spread the love around. Yeah. Oh, I can give this flying. Oh, I could have killed them. How do you give it flying? With this. You can give it flying before blockers. Yeah, yeah, but I could have put both triggers on here. Oh, you could have put it on Tatsunari and the frog. Oops. Yeah, I could, I could have killed them. It's all right. We'll, okay. kill, we'll kill him next time. We'll kill him next time. No worries. Is Jakai Preserver a frog? Hopefully that doesn't bite us. <laughs> it is not, sadly. I right, really hope I don't lose from there, because I just punted. Punted pretty hard. Forgot this had more abilities. Yeah. Look at us reading cards, huh? I know, right? Just the best. The best at magic. What is opponent doing? I don't know, think. Now I can just block with paper craft equal and draw a card. I suppose yeah. they tap that one down, so I have to trade with Vera, but that's fine as well. Yeah. That's fine. Having a think. Tempest. Tempesto. This is this is a, a sorry captain. A bit of a sorry captain. <laughs> it's a very, very sorry captain. <laughs> nice. Time for the gang? No, because they don't get all their benefits if they attack with gang. Of course. Thinking. Thinking. Doesn't exude confidence. Double th Okay. Just the one. Well, we tapping down. Go and tap, tap down uh, the toad. Okay. Love it. That's the last one I was going to block with. Well, block with the, the, the decoy. Here we go. Oh, goes for the cycle. Activate the land. Draw, draw more cards. Cool. I did panic for a second there and think of the, the pig, but that's that's still not lethal. Oh, the pig! Yeah, I didn't think of the pig. Um, well, nice. Double white. Imperial Oath. That's rather helpful. Shall we That's give him a big hit with the frog and friend of frog? Yeah, they look pretty good to me, unless they've got thingo. Uh, cool. So let's do this. Tatsunari and target frog can't be blocked except by flights. Go to combat. Attack with this and this. Okay. Frog and friend of frog. Do I get with everything? In case they got Wanderer's Strike. Yeah, if they've got Wanderer's Strike, they kill this. These are both lethal, so they need to block both of these. Will they get to trade off with both of them? Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's good, because we're gonna cast an Imperial Oath. Well, containment construct. I mean, next turn. Or not. Or not. Yeah. We're running it up, Sam. We're doing it. We promised uh, everyone a run up and welcome to the beginning of it. Let's go. What's that? 4 2? Uh, I think so. 3 2, 4 2. This is a 4 2, right? I think it's 4 2. Claim price. Four yeah, two. four Let's two. Go. We're running it up. Let's go. Let's go. Take Hell out two yes. losses to white invoke, black invoke, with a tesseret thrown in there as well. Yeah, we tesseret beat, for good measure. Yep. We beat Weaver of Harmony into Bankbuster. 
That's true. We did. Um, and we beat, we beat restoration specialist cloning the bank master. Oh, we did. Yep. Yep. We did. Okay. This format's crazy, man. This format is crazy. Okay. We've got J Janinu. John Inu. John Inu. This looks pretty good. Yeah. Now, Shigeki on one or two. That's a good question. Um, that's a really good question. Oh, he's going for Shigeki on one. Get in the comments. What do you think? Yeah, so my, my thinking there is... I actually don't know whether I want to put this on white or black. Ah, oh, got him. I will take that block. Shige oh, Shigeki on one. Vindicated. Oh, the toad man. Toad man. Friend of the frogs. Friend of the frogs. Uh, black black sauce any time in the next two turns will really make the toad man yeah, oh, yeah. do not toad. kill the toad man toad man's about to get carmy's flesh no, you can't put that out there no, toad no, man's gonna be just fine that's see fine. that's fine see just he's all right how much yeah, yeah, nice. this, yeah. Let's go. Let's make let's make frogs. Oh, they made this unable to be blocked. All right, let's go. You make a frog. Make make a frog. Destroy the world's Whoa. most stoppable ogre. Oh, actually, they didn't play a land. I should have killed this. Whatever. Slam. I guess then I couldn't attack. I don't know. Oh, nothing. Big old nothing ball. Well, shall we begin our reign of truth? I think so, yeah. Oh, and then you can make them both unblockable? That's disgusting. Oh, I can. Nine you? How's the toad, man? <laughs> green. Oh. Floats the green just to show that they can. Nice. Classic. This good good passing priority trick. Yeah. I respect it. Finds the land. Four mana. Don't touch my reign of truth. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> the fastest draft punks game ever at the hands of the Toad Man. It's a turn five win. Yeah. Whoa. Hell yeah. I am I am now friendship with the moths has ended. <laughs> I am now friends with the frogs. <laughs> Samuel, friend of the frogs. Oh, yes. That's the, that is not the first time I've had one of these as a reward <laughs> on camera. Best card ever. Hey, 5-2. Five, 5-2. Two. Five, two. Can we just keep drawing Tatsunari? We can just curve Tatsunari into uh, removal. Into Twisted yeah. Embrace every turn. I think we're going to be fine. Christian, Christian? Grieber. You're soon going to be grieving the loss of your game. Grieving. Um, um, yeah, this is a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah, this one looks a little sketchy. A lot of fours, fives, and sixes in this one. Yeah. Well, this has got this has got our good friend the Frogman in it. It does. Turf out the rain of truth. Oh, that's an interesting option. Because what's the game plan? Do we play Tatsunari on three and then play Bearer? Oh, absolutely. Play... Get the frog. Get that frog going. Or do we play Bearer on three and then Tatsunari hold up safekeeping? Mm, yeah, I guess it entirely depends on the, the colors they show us. Hmm. True. Okay, there's the extra land. Um, pro tip for people, if you've got safekeeping in your hand, try not to run out your forest on turn one, because it makes it obvious that you've got it. Era. Okay. Double white. 
Also, if we draw another enchantment, which will mean we don't need this one to trigger the frogman. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If we, I, I, I'll feel a lot better about that plan if we draw another enchantment. But they are playing white. I'm playing white black, so they could have yeah. the arrest. They could have any number of nasties for us. Well, there's another enchantment. Okay, now I feel I feel fine about this then. This is pretty good against long reach, unfortunately. All right, there's the second black. Do they have twisted embrace that we've very cleverly played around? What is this? This is a this is a ninja. Uh, block block the token, hundred percent. Let's go. No fear. I guess, if the, I guess if they you are already dead, us. So be it. That's got to be what this is, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to walk into that. Ooh, that's good. Hey, hello. Besaidu deals with that pretty nicely. Go on, touch, touch our frog. We dare, dare you. you. We dare you to touch the frog. Get, just give it a go. Oh, Ooh. that's so... <laughs> oh, we got a legendary creature. We got a legendary creature. We can, we can besage it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can equip, but coming. cannot activate. They haven't played a land yet. Uh, oh, we 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 besaging. Yeah, if they had a land, they would have done it immediately. Yeah. Oh, that is such a bad beat. Oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> Comes in untapped. Oh, and they get to just. Bolt, oh no! Adrian, no! Why doesn't it come in tapped? Uh... Maybe they'll wait till. Yeah, maybe they'll wait till our upkeep. Opponent! They're really having this a thing. This is not lasagna it. time. Christian, Christian Grieber. Oh, it comes in untapped, Sam. Oh. <laughs> I read the card while it was on the stack instead of, you know, two seconds. Uh, they're having a look for our bin. They haven't just snapped off the, the, the old throw the... Kunai at the frogman. Maybe they're underestimating the frogman so far. Come on, don't do it. Just pass the turn. Don't, Just pass it. Don't do it. Just pass it. No, 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 no. no. Okay. We we deserve it. Um. God damn it. All right. Well, we look. I guess on the bright side, we got rid of their seven six. Yeah, we got rid of the Kieran and negated one reign of truth trigger, which is not the worst. And now, if they sacrifice their searchlight companion, reign of truth is only plus two. Oh wow, they had return to action. Okay. Yeah. Comes in untapped. What kind of? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Okay, take the ten. My turn. Land is not helpful. 
card. We know everything except that one card in hand. Having a real agonize over it. Ooh, they like that one. Do I play my land? I think so. So I think here we chump the 5-5 five, five with the 1-1, one, one, take 2. Yep. Can we get a Naomi? Naomi. Ooh, Naomi off the top would be very nice. Or um, yeah. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll take a Imperial Oath. Imperial Oath also very nice. That's a bit of a problem. A bit of an issue. Uh, Sky Blast Samurai also be good. How about containment? Hmm. Mystery option three. Well, luckily we got a lot of lot of. A lot of bounces. We go. We bounce off of a lot of their stuff, but they do get a big hit in in the air. Hmm. Oh yuck! That's okay. Um, which one do I save? Uh, block in the. Well, they can activate in the air, so you could save the flyer. That's or we could thinking. cop the four. We we're going to use that this turn anyway, so that, that doesn't matter. Hmm. So yeah, Sky Blast Samurai, Arrest, Twisted Embrace. Straight in there. Um, we're gonna block three three chump five five. And then we take six. Take five. Sorry, five. Yeah, okay. We've got two turns to find an answer to the flyer. Yeah. What do we like? What do we love off of the top? Can we s Imperial Oath? Well... <laughs> you're, you're late. Just every small step we've taken this game has been punished. Uh, I probably should have thought about... We did say this was one of our outs. Yeah. yeah Max opponent. Yeah. Ah, oh, we ah, oh, we were dead anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The Seiju land comes in untapped, Adrian. Ah. Uh, and we could have just waited. Yep. And we like could've we could have Frogman plus friend. Copped the seven. Yep. Had our frogman killed the three two anyway, they would have gotten their untapped land. We've got um Tamiyo safekeeping up. Ah, yep. Ah, we were sitting there going, "Wow, really hope they don't have another land." Play a thing that gives them a land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to all of those interactions being untapped. I mean, sorry, being right? tapped. Me too. Yeah. God damn. Well, we didn't quite run it up for you folks, but but you know, that's that's sometimes how it goes. That was pretty good though. I was I was pretty happy with uh with a five three run with this. This is kinda cool. It was. It was. It was sort of uh black white. It had all the themes of black white, but we were also doing a lot of white green stuff as well. Yeah, that's it. We were heavy yeah, we had like the black white theme going, but we were heavier on green. Black white theme with a touch of green. Hey, it rhymes. 
I should have been a rapper. That was my, <laughs> you that was my true been. calling in life. And we've also learned that uh, Tatsunari, fantastic. Right? Frogman. He's Tatsu, he's Tatsutastic. We are now friends with the frog. He's fan, fan, ta, fan Tatsunari. <laughs> he's totally awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the title of the video. Done. Totally that awesome. Brings, that brings us to the shout out row. This is where we give personalized shout outs to everyone who commented on our videos in the last week. While we get that ready, today's pick of the week is up on screen now. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you would have taken here, and we will feature you in this segment next week. Adrian, what did the fine folks have to say about Pick of the Week last week? All righty. Last week for Pick of the Week um, on Neon Dynasty Draft number five, we have a excellent collection of very special commenters and very special specials. But first up, we've got returning commenter Jörn Hildebrandt who says some awesome matches I like the second one most had a great wow moment and an almost surprising or surprising end um, would have loved to see you play Kyodai was thinking no when you cut it having Kyodai instead of one of the ter- terrariums perhaps would have helped who knows nevertheless an entertaining show again but there is one thing that bothers me let's uh let's go into what bothers you in here i watch this on a tablet where it's a pain to stop the video where you want it to pause and i don't exactly know every card uh when drafting could you perhaps hold the mouse one second over the card you're going to pick so i just get the chance to stop the video and read the card when it is big when you then start to uh, flick it between two cards in the choice back and forth, it drives me mad to stop the video <laughs> at the right moment. Sad face. Other than that, I love your draft talk and references to Australian habits. Keep going, wink. Hey, we definitely will. We, <laughs> yeah, we, we show no signs of stopping, and it's probably going to get worse. Correct. Uh, and speaking of Australian and the intro to today's video, uh, Eastern Australia is currently underwater right now. We are experiencing what is supposed to be once in a generation. No, more than that, once in a century floods right now. So our, uh, two of our biggest states are, are very heavily flooded. Hence, uh, hence Soggy Jenkins. That's why hence Soggy, Soggy Jenkins, Jenkins. Is, uh, is around right now. <laughs> That's why he's here. That's it. That's it. And uh, yeah, thank you for the feedback. Uh, hopefully today's draft was a little easier to to follow for those who are not as familiar with the cards as we are. So we appreciate any yeah any, any feedback so we can improve what we do. And especially uh, I, I like the nice uh, unclear but yet very suggestive uh, ending of the comment with keep going, wink. <laughs> I think- not everything is suggestive, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, but thank you, Jan. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the pointers, and also thank you for getting back in the comment section again. We love to see each and all and every single last one of you. So thank you, Jan. Next yeah, up, you. Um, you could say that we're yearning for your comments. Um, uh, <laughs> next up it is Kithasile, who says another Draft Punks video even better than a big pack of spicy Rojobos. Now, was Rojobo someone we played? Yeah, I think Rojobos was one of our opponents last week. Nice. It does sound like a, a, a delicious sort of, like, spicy snack. That's it, yeah. I think, we, yeah, which is what we, what we talked about in last week's video. Mmm, tasty. Um... You guys got Pick of the Week right. Need that little one mana guy. Also want to sadly point out, uh, plus one punt for the punks. Oh no, here we go. About um, an hour and 18 in or so, if you had brought back the beetle, you could have played the Kami, which would have drawn you a card. And as you had Tamiyo's completion out on their creature as well as the beetle. May have been a moot point anyway, but got to stay on your toes. Soggy Jenkins could be just (laughs) around the corner at any time. Thanks for the video, guys. Adrian was very happy to see Soggy Jenkins Uh, had some appreciation. I mean, and you guys are going to be over the moon to see that he's back in this video as well. I think for as long as the eastern seaboard of Australia remains firmly underwater, 
Soggy Jenkins is going to be a big part of everyone's lives. And uh, yeah, so that that play was really interesting. We had, uh, as Kitsana, as we had a Tamiyo's completion on our opponent's creature that I had completely forgotten about. And we were sitting there with a, a Kami of terrible secrets in hand that we weren't casting. But yeah, we could have used uh, uh, Tameshi to bring back uh, Virus Beetle, which would have given us Artifact plus Enchantment, and then we could have cast the uh, the Kami for a, a card. Um, I think we were still dead on board with what our opponent had, but yeah. Um, it's so easy to forget when you've got enchantments on your opponent's stuff. Oh yeah, big time. So yeah, well well spotted. Good play. Yeah, well spotted, Kethasar. Thank you, and also thank you for acknowledging Suggy Jenkins. Oh. <laughs> My character work goes noticed, and I'm very excited. <laughs> so thank you, Kethasar. And next up, we've got a, a long-time co- commenter. We've got Sorator Belle of Isle, who says, Pick of the week, I'd take Prosperous Thief. It's early enough that I think you could probably pick up a few more ninjas to make it worth it, but that may be my ninja bias speaking. I haven't loved Disruptor, weirdly enough. Hmm. Yeah, and I, with everything that I've learned about ninjas this week, um, is that Ninjas is not a play network disruptor on one, then use it to play my moon circuit hacker on turn two. That's not what a good ninjas deck is about. A good ninja deck is about playing the modern age and um long reach of night and all, all of the other sagas or virus beetles and using the ninjutsu cards to pick them up to replay them. Um so yeah, I think for your ninjas decks you want as many ninjutsu cards as you want and disruptor is good you should always play disruptor but yeah i think the ninjutsu cards are are more important so i think i like the i like the thief there as well yes um and adding adding a a little bit of extra to pick of the week um at 70 bits 50 in the video pack three pick three surprised you didn't take the black white jewel land yeah that was just an oversight (laughs) yeah that was a particular pack where we (laughs) We had a, I think I took a nothing out of it when there was a relevant jewel land in the pack. I just missed it. <laughs> so, yep, good call. And also, pick of the week two, which could also be pick of the week three here. Pack three, pick six, definitely Beetle, in my opinion, since you didn't take the Thief earlier. Mm, yeah, there were a lot of uh, lot of pick of the weeks in the last video. There were... um. Yeah, lots of lots of difficult choices. So it's it's cool to cool to get other people's takes on them. Yeah, and to peel back the curtain, when we uh, edit the video, um, we often compile a list of things that could be pick of the week, and sort of pick one out of out of them. And um, I think you've actually stumbled upon one of the ones that were was a candidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think we might have even mentioned it in the video as well, so that this this could be pick of the week. Ah, yeah. yes. But anyway, Sarator then goes on to say, I don't think this is a terrible deck, but I don't love it either. There's several cards that I would just rather not be playing have mixed feelings about. Completion, Blade Blesser, I'm still in the realm of 3-2 for 3, needs some solid upside to be worthwhile, and this ain't it. Yep. You've got a a kindred spirit on the 3-mana 3-2s there, Sam. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, I thought last week's deck was okay, but it, it felt a little middling. And as we talked about today, your decks just need to do something really powerful to win in this format. So, um, yeah, no, I agree. I think you want as few of those mediocre cards as you can. I, I thought this deck was was kind of closer to to a, a powerful Neo deck. Mm, yes. And around out of the comment. Sarda says, 2x Terrarium without much artifact synergies and no modified synergies. I don't disagree with your cuts. I just was wishing we had some other better cards to put in. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last week wasn't, uh, wasn't the best, but that's, that's cool. We're still, still learning the format. And man, man, are we learning this format. There's so much to, so much to take in. It's a bit of a bap. It's a very long, slow baptism of fire. It's not really a baptism of fire. It's more like a, a bap- baptism of the deep fry oil. <laughs> We're just slowly getting a nice crispy brown coating on us as we play through week after week of this format, trying to figure it out. You think oil is your ally. <laughs> you nearly adopted the oil. I was baptized in it. Fry did it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so thank you, Sarator. Thank you very much. Next up, we have David Cobb with the double comment. Uh, David Cobb says, for Pick of the Week, I know not of the 17 lands you speak of, but the Network Disruptor is good in any deck. Um, in stark contrast to, uh, to, to Sarator over there. But um, David then goes on to say, I might want to check out the 17 lands site. I, I do like me some data. Sincerely, special number six. And, and now, vo- voice, you are number six. Me, who is number one? Is that a, um, that's a movie reference, right? Yeah. Prisoner? Ah, uh, I've never seen it, but it sounds like it could be. Yeah, David says in the, in the replies that it's a Prisoner reference. Oh, like, very I can't good. Remember, I have seen Prisoner. I can't remember where I where it was from, though. Nice. Um, but yes, check out 17 Lands. 17 Lands data is awesome. I love it. <laughs> Become addicted. Forget how to yes. draft when you don't have it open on your second screen or phone. Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> And David Comments' second comment says, So far, have done well with the Samurai and have gone up a lot on Aki Ronin. Ooh, interesting. And enjoyed the Selfless Samurai to protect the lone attacker. Have had some fun with Shrines in the deck as well. And my priority picking them goes up with each other as they are nutty with just two on the board. Yeah, I haven't pulled off the, the double Shrine thing yet. Have you? I have had it pulled off against me. Yeah. And I didn't, I, I stopped having fun real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had an opponent, I had an opponent play. Yeah, I had an opponent pull two of them off and I spinning wheel kicked both of them away. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I dealt with that pretty quickly. But yeah, they, they do get very powerful and awful. I haven't, I haven't managed to do it yet. I've had a couple of times where I've been in a three color deck and I've taken, I've taken one in my splash color. Because if I manage to pick up the two that are in my base colors, I'll play all three. Yeah, okay, nice. I've had that, that happen a few times, but I haven't actually got the got the trio. So I'm holding out hope. I hope, I hope we get to do it on camera. That'll be that'll be sweet. If oh, that'd be so sweet on camera. Yeah. yeah, the worst shrining I received, I think, was the white and green one together, pumping out two one ones and stacking the counters. Mm, yeah, that wasn't fun. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. But, um, yeah, I mean, watch this space, David. Here come the shrines. We'll do it one day. And, yeah, thank you for commenting again. That's it. Next up, the Chicken Bananas in the comment section once again and says, would you take cards for the conventional value or do you spike your picks? I had a middling weekend that has me scooted towards the latter. Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a tough question, and I think kind of goes to the heart of this format a little bit. Yeah, do you kind of yeah do you take conventionally powerful things, or do you really try to go for the high upside? So I think one of the best examples of that is the uh, the invoke cycle, right? Where they are they're not good, but if you draft around, sorry, they're not good in just an average deck, but if you draft around them, they are really powerful. Um, so I guess yeah, the question is. Do you take just a regularly good card like I don't know an Intercessor's Arrest or a Gloom Shrieker? We never saw Gloom Shrieker. Um, <laughs> yeah, all video long. Uh, yeah. Do you do you take one of those or do you take one of the uh, one of the really high cards and hope that you can just high roll it? Um, and I I don't quite know the answer. I mean, I, the the way I tend to do it is just take the really powerful cards and make them work. Right, like we took Mitchko's Reign of Truth early on. We took a fair bit of fixing early on so that we could make Naomi work. Um, that tends to be how I draft. But yeah, I don't know. It's a tough question. It is. And a double pick of the week. Pick of the week one, thief. Pick of the one, pick of the week two, not pick of the one, two. Pick of the week two, hacker. Yeah, big fan of the the ninjas. And yeah, taking all the ninjutsu cards. It's a, it's a good strategy when you're in blue black. I like it. Decent, very decent strategies from the chicken banana. And chicken bananas rounds out the comment by saying, suit up is VVV good in blue black ninjas. I don't like reliquary in the base. I spit on your land. I <laughs> good luck with this. I am a man. You're a man. We're a man. It's a man land. I think it actually says, 
I'm a man, you are a man, you are a man, it's a man land. Oh, sorry. Um, Learn to read, Adrian. I know. This this uh, shout out draw always always gets me real tongue tied. <laughs> yeah, suit up. Suit up is currently the best blue common in this. Crazy, episode. crazy. Yeah, I'd who would never who believe it, would it rise so high? Yeah, and it is the best. Sorry, the second best card in blue black specifically. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Cards cards really good. It's it's better when you've got ninjas if you can threaten them whether they block or not. That's a great place to be. Um, but yeah, pick it higher. Yeah, however good you think it is, it's better. Take it, take it higher. I can't remember how aggressively we picked it in that draft last week, but it was probably not high enough. Take, take suit up higher. It feels wrong, <laughs> right? Yeah, but it's I amazing guess what a difference draw a card makes to to an effect. I yeah, but I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta just, uh, you know, listen to the numbers. That's it. So thank you, Chicken Bananas. Next up, we have a mysterious commenter. Hi, it's Adrian in the edit here. Um, just real quick, you're about to hear us talk about um, these comments as if we can't see their names. At the time of recording, we couldn't. Uh, we kind of explain it in a little bit. But um, now, as we're actually clipping the comments out, they're back, and the YouTube filter seems to have dropped its previous verdict. And you can see special 69 and special number one with the correct uh, profile pics and names and everything up on screen when we read out the comments. So try and ignore the stuff we're talking about, not being able to see it because you can see it now. But it was fun at the time. Anyway, back to the video. Um, Hi, Sam. And this mysterious comment says pick of the week is 134% the impoverished law abider that or you are already otherworld. Uh, explain what happened with this after the next one. Yes. Um, but yeah, impoverished law abider sounds like the opposite of prosperous, prosperous thief. thief. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are already otherworld, I suppose, is the opposite of you are already dead? I guess. You are already otherworld. I don't know, this is getting really, so this is getting so like a David Lynch movie. <laughs> this comment you are section. A, you are a fan of the David Lynch movies. I Maybe am. We can, let's, Imperial Oath. Is an Imperial Oath what... I can't claim credit for this joke, Michael Raymond sent me this. But is an Imperial Oath what the queen says when she swears. <laughs> Very good. That's my pick of the week. Nice. So thank you, mysterious commenter. Uh, next, we've also got a mysterious commenter. And this mysterious commenter sort of has a bit of a more identifiable, uh, what shall we say, tell in their comments. Hmm. And I guess you could say the previous commenter did as well. But this agree, mysterious yeah. commenter says, Mischievous, mischievous, mischievous children dazzle hawks. They don't. They don't? No. You don't, you don't know that. You could be out there with, like, some sort of toy and you could be trying to dazzle the local hawks. Don't, don't, don't team up with him. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the Prosperous Thief had to serve a sentence with with drama because it disrupted the network and it will be a while until he can return to action. Hmm. With that said, pick of the week, 134% was disruptor, but I can see you taking the thief if you think you can get more disruptors or searchlight companions later. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think I, yeah, we, we talked about this a little bit already. I like, I think I like the Prosperous Thief, but Disruptor, it's a, it's a powerful little one drop, so I can't, can't fault anyone for taking it. Neither, but I must, and then a uh, mischievous children dazzle hawks, hawks char- character, you know, commenter says, I must say, seven days without a Draft Punks video makes one week. Ah, <laughs> makes, makes. Uh, it's it's it makes us weak. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that properly. It makes us weak as well. No, it makes it's a weak for us as well. It is weak. Um, we are weak. We draft 
weak decks? <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Anyway, let's explain what happened here. Uh, so these comments originally, the first one was from special number 69 and had Vitroxity's profile picture. And the one you've got on screen right now was from special number one. We all know who that is with the, uh, the famous purple M as the profile picture. Both the profile pictures and names have since vanished. And I believe it is because our YouTubian overlords have stepped in and said, nope, this is too much nonsense. <laughs> We're not allowing this. We are <laughs> deleting these accounts. Oh, they, these were fresh accounts as well, by the way. They weren't, uh, they weren't, uh, Makai of Detroxity's, uh, regular accounts renamed. They were brand new accounts, um, named special number one and special number 69. Uh, but yeah, YouTube has stepped in and deleted those accounts, uh, probably because they look like Russian bots, because they just went in and left a random spam comment on some little channel's videos and then didn't do anything else. So you got what you deserved. <laughs> so thank you, Mackay, if that is your real name or special number one. Um, all I see is the placeholder the YouTube account profile picture placeholder and no text. So who who knows? But mm -hmm. lastly, we have someone who managed to get through the filter and mm -hmm. it is special number 11 with, uh, with a bit of a Michael Raymond-esque sort of uh, profile picture. And special number 11 says, I don't think the ninja was really in contention for pick of the week compared to the disruptor or torment. I'd pick the... Creature, I think, here because you need the tempo. Torment's benefit is more incremental. You need to get rolling in this format, and that is very true. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Torment. Um, I've Yeah, I've been running multiples in a lot of my decks. Certainly all of my Ninja's decks, all of my Black Red Aggro decks. I'm happy to have as many Torments as I can get my hands on. Just one mana, remove a blocker, and then it's a win condition on its own. It's just, yeah, so much value for one mana. Oh, yeah. Um, I haven't played with it a lot because I guess I'm still unsure about it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, that, that pick was pick of the week for a reason. There was a, there was a good selection of cards in there. Agreed. Yeah. Lots of, lots of cool options. And yeah, congratulations to, uh, special number 11 for <laughs> evading the the mighty powers of the youtube banhammer you did it pat on the back for you and um pat on the back for i guess everyone for another successful shout outro another truly chaotic comment section where everyone is trying exciting new things and um, if you would like yeah, to be featured well hang on you know you know oh should we talk about how many subscribers we currently have? Oh, yes, we should. So, as of time of recording, we have uh 280 subscribers. Uh now we're going to we're going to run the same deal that we offered you guys as we were approaching 200. If you guys can get us to 300 subscribers before the end of the month, we will record and release another Draft Punks Vintage Cube episode. But by um, popular gonna, demand. By popular demand. We had great feedback on the last one. Um, we're going to do our best to to make sure, because I know not everyone is familiar with all the cards in Vintage Cube, so when we do the next one, we'll, we'll really make sure you, you guys can follow what's going on. Um, but even if you can't, doesn't matter. Vintage Cube is hilarious. Vintage Cube is awesome. Um, so yeah, 300 subs. That's your goal. And if you can get us there, there'll be a Vintage Cube done Draft Punk style delivered straight to your YouTube inbox. Mmm. Hot and ready. Hot and ready. And if you would like to be featured in our next episode, all you need to do is drop us a comment on one of our videos or share us on social media or and tag us to let us know you've done that. You can email us at the address that's on screen now. You can find us on Twitter at DraftPunksMTG, everything separated by underscores. You can find me personally. My name is Sam at calm underscore mirror. And you find me, Adrian, at WalkerAid. And I should add that a lot of the community has migrated over to Twitter. There's a lot of uh, a lot of shenanigans talked about on Twitter uh, related to 
drafting and draft punks and all the silliness that we get up to. So if you are on Twitter, come come join us. It's good fun. Uh, and in the meantime, Adrian, tell me, what do they call a werewolf on YouTube? Uh, they call him Soggy Jenkins. That's uh, me. It's a like and subscribe. And that's eight commenters. Sweet. Shall we begin? Uh, yeah. Let me just lubricate the hole. There's a lot of ways you can interpret that. No, only one. Only one. Okay. And it's sexual. <laughs> oh, no.